Ой. It's very really heavy this thing. This is the Rode NT1 AI1 complete studio kit with the audio interface. Basically everything you need to start recording in one box. And this is me, not me. Yeah, that's not me. Okay. So this is the box that has the whole package inside and I recently purchased this. This is not a sponsored video and I'm just going to show you the unboxing of and what you find in the box is the microphone, the shock mount, audio interface, USB cable, XLR cable and the dust cover, dust pouch for the microphone. The microphone itself has 10 year warranty but not the rest. The interface is 2 year warranty for me and there is one seal on the side of the box. I wanted to find it and make sure it's... Uh, yeah, there was only one seal from me. Okay, as long as there is one seal at least, it's fine. So let's open this. Okay, now I can get into the contents of this package and if you wanted to read the details of what's in the box, you can always pause the video at any frame and read the description. And yeah, okay, there are a lot of information there, but I guess they don't try to put too much. And inside the box, there is another box. And yeah, this box looks more uh, black and white, <laughs> more... I guess the top box, they this one more. they made it so they can change it easily when they have some offers or something. Change the picture, I guess. And the inner box is more classic style and... A bit more coffee. A coffee tire. I guess this is really the time to open the box and see what's inside the box again. And I open it, some more information about the warranty. There is a catch with the warranty, you have to register your product to get the 10 year warranty. So the microphone itself, the NT1 gets 10 year warranty, I hope I never have to check it, but you have to register to get that. That means creating an account on their website and adding the serial number on so your nice account. Packed. It's so nicely packed like this. One here, one there, one there. I really like the way this is packed. It's really interesting. It's really so so neatly made, really well packed here. Q-A-H? Henry? Is that you, Henry? I don't know who Henry is, but maybe it's someone else. Maybe it's something different completely. And yeah, okay, so a little bit difficult here to take out the boxes, but nothing can stop me from taking these boxes out of it. Okay, and we got the shock mount out, the shock mount SM Road SM6, which is a really decent shock mount. I mean, I'm using this whole kit as I'm talking now. This recording is made with the box contents that you're about to see now. This is the microphone, the Rode NT1. It's nicely packed in its own box. And they even provide a cable, XLR cable, and it's 6 meters. I was gonna buy, if I did bought something else, I was gonna buy, I was gonna buy a 3 meter one, maybe 2 meters, because I don't need, but I guess if you need a longer distance, 6 meters will cover the, the needs. It's a... Uh, it's a simple box, road cable, 6 meters, this is all the info there, so let's start with the easy ones. This is just the cable, but it's really heavy, but this is also heavy. Yeah, they're, they're pretty heavy, these things, actually. They're all heavy. Maybe the heaviest are these two, and these, these are similar.
some heavy duty stuff. Yeah, this is pretty heavy duty, but I guess uh, there would be not. I mean, it wouldn't make sense to bundle a cheap cable, right? It wouldn't. And if you have all the components, the cable it's not such a big uh, expense. So yeah, this is XLR female to male. This is male because the pins inside are uh, they are pins and male. And this one is the female 3 pin XLR because um, it receives the pins from the other one. It's a plug plug connector. So they can plug in two. Yeah. And you have the lock. On the female connector you have this uh, lock and you have to press the button to release it. You might know this already, but if you don't know, this is how you remove the cable, the XLR cable. At the beginning I didn't know and I had a bit of a trouble to get it out and uh, this is the batch 00001 or maybe I missed a zero there. This is the audio interface, the Rode AI1. It's not a new product but it was bundled with the set. I wanted the microphone and the microphone alone. Interface. It was a little bit cheaper than the whole set. But it didn't really make sense to get the microphone. I thought, why not get the interface also? Because I didn't have an interface. It's made of metal, solid metal. And just a quick uh, idea. Only one extra input. Because it's one mic microphone. So it's not a high-end... Uh, I mean, it's good quality. But it's not like six inputs. 48 volts phantom power. Direct monitoring with the headphones. Yeah, it's it's working. I mean, I'll use it now and Ellie. everything is doing it's as, it, as I expect it to be. Not more and maybe a bit less. I'm not sure. I'm trying to find find a reason to not to like it. Uh, I don't know, actually. Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's, it's decent. I mean, before, what I had before was a BM800 microphone, the Chinese. Chinese microphone and some cheap phantom power box that I never had to touch. It was only providing phantom power and everything I was doing was on the computer. But this thing makes things way more simple. I, I can plug in the headphones there permanently, disable, enable headphone monitoring, everything. This is the ring for, uh, for the microphone. I didn't know that you might get this. And actually, I inserted it into the microphone just so I don't lose it, first of all. It's to make the connection a bit more sturdy in case it becomes loose. Let me know if it's not a good idea to use this. But the connection wasn't loose, but I thought, why not put it in there and forget forget it's, uh, it's there. And if I ever need to remove it, it's easier to remove it than to try to find it later. The interface also comes with a free Ableton Live Lite software. This is a DAW, DAW. Oh, like. And it comes with a sticker. It's a pretty nice sticker, actually, this one. I even thought about using it, but I'll think about it. So, NT1. I like these quick start guides. They're a very, very simple, minimal number of words and pictures describe most of these things. So, even if you don't understand really English, you, you can just follow the instructions in the pictures. The microphone connects to the interface, it goes in the shock mount and the uh, interface connects to the computer with the USB-C. It's a USB-C connection and it doesn't need any external power supply. Everything is on the computer and it works with a mobile phone. I tried it with my Android phone, Xiaomi, Xiaomi Mi 9. It works. Not doesn't need any drivers on the phone or on the computer. It just works. And you set the input level and the gain. The the gain is about for me it's about twelve o'clock now as I record this and I'm five centimeters away from the microphone with the pop filter installed. The microphone monitoring on the headphones you can enable or disable head this uh, direct monitoring. I have it enabled always while I record because you can hear yourself in the headphones without delays 
And that's a big deal. If you have a delay while you record yourself, you will get confused. It just doesn't work. If you have external speakers, monitors, you can connect them at the back. That's it about the interface. And yeah, this is the USB-C cable. It's just a regular USB-C cable. It has a nice, uh, this branded, branded uh, hook and loop. And the length is about one and a half meters, I guess. One and a half meters standard, standard cable. Yeah, it's a standard USB 2. You see there are only four connections inside there. The USB A format type. If it has four connections only, it's USB type 2. If it has additional five connections, it's USB 3. So type 2 means it can work on any computer really interface. with USB. And this is the it's really solid like the interface. Like yeah, it's really solid. It's like a brick. The headphone the headphone input. The headphone monitoring connection is a half Made inch in connection. So if you have headphones for example, for my headphones, I had to really look for the it's adapter really because usually phone. they come with an adapter from 3.5 millimeter jack to the half inch connector, but this you know those things you can easily lose them. Smell test. Hmm. It smells like good stuff. It smells like expensive electronics. Okay, this is uh, I did a small smell test. It smells pretty nice, like glue, basically. But it's the smell of the mobile phone, so I like that. It's usually the expensive mobile phones smell like that. Glue. I'm sure it's not healthy to breathe that. TRS connection combined with a one half inch connection for a microphone or an instrument, I guess. Maybe I will buy a guitar. I don't have a guitar and I'm not planning to, but who knows with this thing. Direct monitoring for headphones, the headphone input. These are really solid. Very solid buttons on the interface. I try to move them. Okay, they move a little bit slightly, but they actually, what I do, I don't, I don't touch them. I don't change the gain on, on the microphone. Once I set the gain to 12 o'clock really, I leave it there and all I do is disable the phantom power and disable the direct monitoring. So I press the buttons, these two clicky buttons, I press them one, one click for each when I start recording like now. The headphones are always plugged in and the, the microphone is always plugged in. So yeah, <clears throat> that's uh, at the back you have the, you have the USB connection and yeah. USB-C connection, I like that a lot. Right and left speaker output, that's all. That's all you need really to start recording like this with a microphone or an instrument. If you needed a microphone and an instrument at the same time, there are other interfaces with two outputs or more, but inputs or more, but uh, this is not the case here. SM6, it's the shock mount interesting shock mount it's compatible with multiple microphones and you can read here you can read here it's uh, it's compatible with multiple microphones it has a very interesting vibration protection system it's uh, it's a really solid really well built item actually it's not too big i always thought this is gonna be too big, but it's not too big. Oh, 
This is really heavy. Wow, it's so heavy. Okay. This thing is so heavy that I really thought that my stand will not be able to hold this and I would have to purchase a new stand, microphone desk stand. And actually I didn't have to do that, I just had to tighten the bolts on it as much as I could. And it's kind of kind of working now, but I'm sure eventually I'll have to get a new microphone desk, desk stand also. If you get this, you might want to get the kit with the desk stand or get a, a solid microphone desk stand with this. That's a nice system to attach the microphone to the holder. And it's really wobbly here, it's very... It's really super independent. Yeah, it's really independent from this... Everything is metal here. All metal yeah, built. Metal. This is... Yeah, really nice, really well made thing. Only few parts are made of plastic and it's very solid uh, plastic there, so... I would say it would last a really long time. Now, this is the main, the main thing, the main thing what's inside this box. The reason I purchased this set, it's the Rode NT1 condenser microphone. It's a Cloth, not cardioid condenser microphone. Not too heavy, feels a bit cheap, but... Yeah, this cloth does feel a bit cheap, but it's light, so I guess it's uh, used if you, you cover the microphone while you don't use it. Or if you have it stored in some drawer somewhere. Yeah, this is the this is the nice part here. This is the this is the good stuff. Who's there? Look who's there. Okay. This you don't need. I can tell you that if if I would be able to tell something to myself for the last I don't know, months, twelve months, one year, two years, uh, I should have got this a long time ago. It makes things much easier. Everything is much easier. The interface is really easy to use. The microphone sounds really so much better than my Chinese BM800 and. The truth is, if it, it's a useful video, someone will watch it, but it's much nicer to watch a video when the sound really is better and easier to understand and not so, not so, I don't know, easier to listen, I guess. This is the, this is the way and it's not an expensive microphone. It's not some really crazy amount, but okay, it's not cheap, so it's uh, the prices are uh, about two two fifty three hundred US dollars or euros three hundred four hundred depends on the day the the prices locally. So you can check the links in the description for the, for this. It depends on when you buy it, I guess. Maybe they have some offers sometimes when it's lo cheaper two hundred. Maybe sometimes it's four hundred. Large diaphragm, Before it used condenser to microphone, no. gold plated connections there. It's really, I mean, it looks really beautiful. I mean, it's okay, it's just a microphone. But I, the first time I used it, it was really amazing. I mean, I couldn't believe that. Why I didn't buy this earlier, you know? So if you need the recording, an instrument, you play guitar or you play some instruments, air instruments. This is very sensitive. It will get details from your um, from your voice. I mean, it's very nice for talking, singing. I am not singing here, but okay. It's it's a really detailed sensor. Basically, it will get all the all the 
details in your voice or in your instrument playing. There's a video coming up on how to set it up and how to get started and use it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like and share to see more videos like this one.